Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, apparently, they have a new version of Xcode out. So, I want to take a look at it and show you it and mess around with it and see what it's about. Okay. Xcode. Xcode 4, yes. All right, Xcode 4 is a compiler. For those of you who don't know what a compiler is, uh, basically a compiler is a program or it can be like a set of programs that work together. And what they do is take source code and transform that into what's called object code. And object code is used to create an executable program. Simple. Object executable program. I'll teach you the correlation later. Okay, let's see what's new in next code. Let's see, single window. Now, if any of you have used the IAD um, program, the IAD builder, they have a pretty much user interface. It's pretty simple. I mean, anyone could build an app on it. So, I'm hoping this will be comparable to it. So, let's see what this does. Okay, blah 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 blah. blah. So, interface build is built in. Blah blah blah. Okay, okay. Compiler 2.0, let's see in XR4. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, so for those of you who don't even know what a compiler is, uh, again, compiler takes C code. This uses C, all right. C was written back in the end of the 60s, like 69, by a guy named uh, Dennis Ritchie at Bell Telephone Laboratories. Um, I know for you kids, there's these things called telephones. Anyway, um, they created this early language called C, which came from curly bracket programming language. But they called it BCPL, even though it's curly bracket. But anyway, that's a whole other story. And that was transformed into uh, Objective C by this guy Brad Cox and his partner about 10 years later. Um, who worked at another phone company and blah blah blah. The rest is history. Okay, so what's new in Xcode 4? Xcode 4, let's download it. Guess what? I downloaded it yesterday. Um, oh, sorry, you have to be um, a member of the dev program. So, yeah, sorry, you kind of got to log in and then you'll go to the part where it says Xcode 4, blah 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 blah. Let's see, but I already did it. So, we're going to go into my folder, Xcode 4, Applications, Xcode. First thing you'll notice probably is the interface is going to be a little bit different. It almost looks like iTunes if you look at it. And it uh, provides a little bit ease on the eye. And it's pretty simple to run. All right, now, okay. So this is something from before, but let's open up something that I want to edit and see how it works. Uh, so let's see. If you open a file, do I have it? Where do I have it? On my desktop. Okay, which one am I looking for? Oh yeah, the iPhone sampler. I wanted to edit this and add Retina display to it. So I mean, for those of you who don't know, all that is is doubling the image to 640 um, and adding times 2 to it. Okay, so first thing we see is one target missing base SDK. Oh my god, it's so much work. So all I have to do is change the target from 4.3, make it 4.1. Boom, it already has my, see I don't have my regular display, that's what I need to add in. So let's see, we're gonna run it on iPhone 4.1 simulator and see what happens. Compiling, compiling, compiling. Compiling, compiling, compiling. Look at all those warnings. But it's still built. Yay! Hey, don't tell Apple, okay? Okay. Taking forever. I remember that day when I first got the Mac and it used to be fast. I don't know what happened. All right. All right. So it's running. No errors yet. 
cool thing I like about it too, it gives errors, it tells you like a log of what's going on, so when it does crash, if you know by chance it does crash, you will be able to see everything and understand what happened. So let's see, okay, so now the layout is pretty comparable. You have all your uh, items to the left that you're used to seeing, but then the only thing that you're gonna notice to on that is two different editing windows. You see that button there, you press that button, Aha! What's that? That looks like a debugger. Boom, so that's it. Or you can hide it. Or you can bring that back there. Or you can move it over. Okay? Now there's little different features you can play around with. So now that I can see the file folder here, I know what I'm working with a little bit, right? I'll just press it to make sure it's working. Okay. Okay, that needs to be fixed too. See that? Oh, 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 oh. That initial lag needs to be changed as well. Okay, so we're looking at our window here. What do we notice different? Okay, you can see different things. You have different view navigators, project symbol. So everything is through a command. So if you press command one, what do you get? Command two, you change the view. Command three, you change the view. See, see how it works over there? That's command five, six, seven. You understand? Okay, good. Okay, now we got the view here. This allows you to see things on the side, inspector, attributes, connections. So like, let's open the uh, XIB. See what we get going here. All right, everything's looking good to the side there. Fine. All right, everything seems to be in order. Sorry, I haven't looked at this project in months on top of months on top of months. Okay, so by now, isn't there a way where I can make it all look up inside of the window? So. If I click it here, it now loads inside this window. Aha! Uh -huh. So if I need to pull objects and such from it, I can edit it here. So look, at, if I edit uh, test and then run it, what I like is it actually changes in time. So now when it runs, even though I don't want that retarded big button there, it's going to be there. And uh, I guess the benefit of that is Interface Builder is now built in, so you don't have to have two separate um, applications open and run and try to get everything done at the same time. And then just sometimes it can be a pain, so that's fine. You want to change button functions, everything is still here the same way it is, but everything is just integrated into one. Use it free. So if I want to change the name properly, change it to test. Now I'm gonna run. I didn't even save it, I just running it again. It reruns. <laughs> Rerun. That's funny. Okay. And it's done. And it still has the functionality of whatever is supposed to be there, but... So that's it. Real quick thing on Xcode 4. It is out. It does work. Have fun. And don't forget to get your membership and your dev license.